All right, guys, I'm Gizno. Welcome back to another reaction video. Today, we are back with some more Ruby content. Yes, we are actually back. Something I like about this show is that even though there's a lot of like doom and gloom right now, like there's still stuff coming out for it, which I think is great. So we have this new series that I think it's only a few episodes. It's not like a whole 10 episodes. And judging by the length of this episode, they're not going to be like 12 minutes long or 15 minutes long or 24 minutes long. Uh, but we have a new series called Ruby Beyond, which is taking place while Team Ruby and John are in the Ever After, after they come back, and I think there was one more thing. I, I don't remember when. Uh, but yeah, so this is kind of taking place in multiple different time frames, which is great. Uh, we're going to be following different characters. There's, there's sort of just like little shorts that might also be setting up for Volume 10. I've been trying to get this... Uh, volume 10 video out that talks about what could happen during that volume uh, But one we keep getting new stuff, which is absolutely crazy and two it's just you know Technical issues and things like that But I'm hoping to record maybe today and have that out as soon as possible But yes, even though the show is kind of just up in the air right now There's still hope and also, you know, it's good for fans to just, you know, just keep holding on to this show, just in case. You never know. And still talking about it, even if there's a very small chance that we might never get it. Uh, but yeah, so the first episode is going to be focused on, it looks like, the Junior Detective League, a.k.a. Sun Wukong and Neptune. So, yeah, I hope you guys are ready for this one. I'm a little bit worried because the thumbnail, it makes it look like... Uh, so... I imagine there's not, I think this is going to take place while Team Ruby are in the Ever After. And, you know, it looks very comedic from here, but I have a feeling Sun is going to be going crazy trying to figure out where they might have gone. And then Neptune is going to be there going like, I think they're dead, man. I'm not going to lie. And Sun is going to have to come to terms in that. All in three minutes and 38 seconds. So, I don't know if that's what they're going to do, uh, but... I like the the style that they have here. It's not 3D and it's not like Chibi. Chibi was also 3D, I think. But it, it looks like it's like 2D. Something tells me it might be similar to like the World of Remnant where they were kind of like moving, but they weren't moving, you know? Like it was just one frame of them doing this and then one frame of them doing that and then one frame of them doing this. And they kind of just did it in a way that kind of makes it look like they're moving but yeah that should be really interesting to see uh that's basically all i have to say i don't want to waste any more time so let's get right into the video Ooh, starting off stormy the night the case file came in oh god don't tell me it's like some noir shit quite like this one did i remember it like it was yesterday it was yesterday dude come on i'm sorry accuracy is important <clears throat> oh, it's been so long since I've heard these two yes. together. Oh, I remember that thing. I guess. Thankfully, damn. For the junior detectives. Don't they're just like fuck John. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. Our first step was obvious. Interrogate the suspects. Witnesses. What suspects? What do you remember? Tell us everything. I'm not sure it can be done. Pretend this is Ren. That's so great full extent that I'm able to but like always pulling information is like pulling teeth did you not hear what I said <laughs> that's all I have to say the story checks out Next. I already told oh you. look vacuo in the background plus I don't talk to cops or whatever you two are Ow. No damn me, remember on to the next perm <laughs> ah, I told you to stop calling me a perm <laughs> Do you even know what perpetrator means? Of course I do. And for all we know, you are the purple traitor. <sighs> Guys, not even Ozpin and Oscar know what happened to them. We were told not to fall. Uh -oh. Music's music's turned off. That's it. How would they know? How would they know that? That was no leads. Nobody else was there except Team Ruby. And Penny, but no, Penny wasn't even there. Squeezing our genius brains of every last Patch, Mistral, Veil. Vale. What does that say? Vacuo, or Atlas, Staff. Vacuo, Fell? Oh. Oscar and Ospin don't know. Nor Ren and Winter. Sun with that, like, middle school S on top. Question last witnesses. There are no witnesses. Not anymore. Some tic-tac-toe. Okay, so it looks like they're just, they're not really close to the truth. 
almost gave up. Until... <laughs> uh, oh, no! Grapes! Soda! Fuck! Uh, <clears throat> I mean, what is it, fellow detective? The headmasters! Professor Osbin! Oscar! And Professor Theodore! Now, sure, you could say that it makes sense that the two are meeting up a lot. They are they? Charge, after all. Something just are they? Feel right. kept taking left. Oscar's been talking the... Uh, using our ultimate that Theodore guy. We're able to follow on. I like this. I like this style a lot. We were shocked. Startled even. Wasn't just us. You just noticed Raven's there too. Oh my god. Is that Theodore? Is that Theodore? Look at him. Oh shit. Dark skin and everything. I love it. Her and Theodore meeting up. But Winter and Raven. Raven. Two maidens. Two maidens. Interesting. A mis the other maiden? Mysterious girl was there too. Could she? Summer maiden? Summer maiden? I already told you there's no way. Besides, there's no more room on our suspects board. No more new characters. I, I mean perps. Wait, why is Sun so upset? Is it because... I have a feeling that maybe the Summer Maiden might be uh, his cousin. Which is the only reason I why I think that is because I heard that a lot. And that sounds like an interesting idea. And also it gets Sun some more screen time. So I'm completely okay with it. But the way that Sun was like, there's no way, okay? It, it kind of sounds like maybe it might be his cousin. And he's like, there's no way because... Maidens kind of have a track record of dying a lot. <laughs> Even people who are very connected to Maidens end up dying. So maybe it is. But then, before we could really uh, hear crow. Juicy, Well, you showed up. Yeah, then we told you the whole story and now you're all caught up. <laughs> and why do you look so angry? Oh no, please spare us! Yeah. Ah! I don't want to hear that shit. Well... I guess the location of Team Ruby, and John, is still a mystery. I just hope they know that we haven't given up. And I hope they haven't given up either. Hmm. Okay. Not as angsty as I thought it was gonna be. Uh. Also, like, what's with the John hate? I mean, like, you. There's a good chance that they might actually be dead, and you're just like, oh yeah, John too. That's a little. That's a little unnecessary, I think. Um, I get it, it's like, you know, comedic, but still. Like, you, wanna, you want the characters to still be the characters while also doing comedic stuff. Just the setting that they're in right now, I don't think having just pure comedy without any... Like, here at the end, you, you could hear some being like, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna find them. You know, we haven't given up hope, and I hope they haven't either. But it's like, it's based off of the epilogue, like, it's real bad. Like, a lot of people think they're dead already. Like, these two might be the only two that think they're still alive. Maybe that's why Crow just didn't want to hear. Like, he's trying to move on. But you have Sun and Neptune, like, shoving his niece's disappearance or death in his face. So he obviously doesn't like that. But, I don't know. Just being like, for one thing, like I said, the John thing is a little weird. And having, having them, like, wear mustaches and stuff and... And kind of like play around with their grape soda and shit. Like it's like, I don't know. You wanna like, I wanna take what's happening seriously while also having some comedic stuff. But like, you gotta balance it. And I think at this time, I, I don't think them having comedic stuff like that makes a lot of sense. I think you can have some comedic stuff. Like the what I what I was proposing, like having Sun go like crazier and crazier as he's trying to find answers and then have neptune be like i don't think they're still alive i think that would have been better but i don't know who knows uh nonetheless though we got some cool stuff in the background that was going on for one thing i mean it's still cool to see uh sun and neptune uh great to hear michael uh play sun and carrie play neptune it's it's been a really really long time and it was it was nice seeing their shenanigans if it had focused on anything else uh like maybe not team ruby but maybe something happening in vacuo like oh somebody's stealing all the ketchup in vacuo and all of vacuo all the ketchup is gone then i i think i would have enjoyed it a lot more um because it is nice to see them just goofing off again and and hanging out because i mean how long has it been since can't even say like volume five because yeah we saw neptune and it was really small but like that was it it was it was a really small scene um really we'd have to go all the way back to volume three 
if you wanted to get something, you know? And it was also a great seeing like different parts of Vacuo. Like we've been getting little bits of Vacuo. We also have the, what I think is the school in the background. Like it's always, like that building is very recognizable. We've seen it um, at the end of volume nine. I believe we saw it in the epilogue as well. So yeah, I think this is the school right here, which it would be nice to get. I feel like the schools haven't really been explored as much. Even Beacon hasn't really been explored as much as it could be. But I hopefully we get a little bit, uh, we get some cool scenes here in, in the city when we actually get into like volume 10. Um, some little stuff to also uh, with the characters is Oscar meeting up with uh, Professor Theodore. I didn't even imagine them having a relationship together, but of course it makes sense since uh, Oscar is housing Ozma. And I guess he's also taking that responsibility as well. And even though he doesn't want to fuse with Ozma, he understands that he has a bunch of knowledge that Theodore and Winter and, and, and all of them would probably want. It, I mean, I would love to be in the room with all four of these guys. I wonder how Raven is treating Oscar because, you know, Os Ozpin is in there. So I wonder how she's like looking at him, probably half pity and then half like upset and hatred for Ozpin. But I don't think she's going to take it out on Oscar. If anything, she's going to just look at him like, so he's fucked with your life too, huh? He turned me into a fucking bird. You, you're losing your whole body. It's not exactly the same thing, but still. Um, and then of course, Theodore, I have absolutely no idea what his personality is like, but he looks really hot. I mean, he looks really cool. Uh, and yeah, I don't like, I, I it's kind of hard to tell what he could be thinking right now. Uh, Winter, we already know that she's struggling right now, but it looks like she's putting on a very, uh, very calm and, and brave face. Uh, Summer, uh, no, not Summer. Uh, Raven <laughs> looks really, really good in this art style. I love it for sure. I'm sure all the Sims are going crazy right now. And then after that, we have the Summer Maiden, which I believe, uh, if that's true, then could if this is the summer maiden uh, i guess that means that she's already on our side and she's already helping if she's in like in these meetings um i do wonder who it could be she's all like masked and everything like that uh it could be uh son's cousin or it could not be the summer maiden it could be somebody else who we're preparing for they they were doing that little you know when they do the jokes about uh, what people usually complain about uh, about when it comes to the show like oh there's no more new characters if that's true then this there's a possibility that it is an old character maybe we we've met before but we just you know they're making that as a big surprise like oh look who it is she's back uh but yeah it's we do know that she's probably young because uh what, what it, uh neptune i believe called her like a girl not like a woman so yeah, but yeah, I do like how they're, they, I like stuff like that. The actual like plot of the this little short has me kind of like, eh. Uh, but like little stuff like getting to see Sun again and getting to see Neptune again and getting to see Vacuo a little bit and get a, get a little bit more information about Oscar and also meet this mysterious character. Like that's the kind of stuff that I'm just like, oh, okay, now we're talking. Now I'm excited for the rest of these episodes for sure. So yeah, that's basically it. I'm excited to talk about Ruby again. Um, and we've been getting that, I feel like week after week. It, it, it kind of feels like we're in the Ruby season while also not being in the Ruby season. Um, but I'm just happy that we're getting some Ruby stuff, period, for sure. So yes, tell me what you guys thought about the episode down in the comment, comment section down below. Tell me what you guys thought about my reaction and I will see you guys next time. Until then, bye.